Hello video fans, it's Alex here at Capital Deals Bike Shop and today's video is going to be how to inflate your tires. Uh, there's a lot of people that are going to be coming out of winter and they're going to grab their bicycle and the first thing that they're going to notice is that their tires are unrideable because there's no air in it. And if you have, there's a lot of different types of valves, actually there's two different kinds of valves that are very popular in America. There's a third that they use overseas called the Dunlop valve, but it's a little bit different. But we're gonna talk about the traditional one, like a car, it's called a Schrader valve. And then we're gonna call these, these ones are called Presta valves. And what's different about Presta valves is they also come in different lengths. So this is a 32 millimeter, 48 millimeter. There's a 60 millimeter here and 80 millimeter are the common lengths. And they come in different lengths because some, Tires come in different depths as well. So some of these race racing bikes have really, really, really deep rims and you need a deep valve stem. Uh, and if this isn't long enough, they also make adapters that can even go even deeper. So this is called the Presta valve. And the way that this works here is you're gonna unscrew this and that's gonna allow you to get air into it air into your inner tube and then if it's not screwed then air is not going to be able to go through there so, okay. there we go. Um, this is a schrader valve i want this is inside your tire this is the membrane that holds the air it's made out of rubber okay here we go this is a common issue now we've we've made the connection and no air is going into the inner tube you're going to be struggling this is usually where the customer is going to come and find somebody at the bike shop i know that i because i do this all the time i know that what the problem is i just need to wiggle something around a little bit so i'm wig i, I took it off I'm putting it back in i'm trying it again oh i'm struggling oh this is a huge common problem here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. I'm going to try tightening this, wiggling it around. And again, there's a million different kinds of connection interfaces. But oh, this isn't even great, but air is going in now. Let's see if we can make this even better. So on this Schrader valve, there's a spring actually. So a spring, so when you're pushing the air pressure, that spring is just letting that air go in. Oh, this is not working. So, and, and this is, I have the tube right here, right in front of me. Sometimes the valve is getting pushed in as you're, as you're pushing it in the rim. So you're going to need, my, the technique that I used earlier today was actually squeeze the tire and then it kind of stays out like that so we can make that connection hopefully you'll know right when it, the air just goes in so nice so it probably this is a really expensive pump too so I'm trying to figure out what is causing this all right let me just do this real quick maybe this is starting to get worn out oh and remember if you unstart unscrewing things make sure you put it back the way it goes otherwise it's going to prevent it from working too so Oh, still doesn't work. But you hear the air getting pumped in there, right? Oh, it's kind of working. So in a pinch here, I would just keep on going with this. I think it should work a little bit smoother or better. Okay, this little bit of air that you hear that's coming out of it. Let's see. Let's have a tone in it. There goes the hole. So this inner tube here has a hole somewhere. And if you were patching it, you could, you could use a patch or you could put a new one in. Um, I also would, if you're changing the inner tube, you should find out what caused. What caused your flat. So like here, because it's right in the middle, it would have been on the tire on this side of the face. And then what we, what I would do is I would line this tire up to here, find the hole, and then 
pull out whatever caused your flat. If you put a new tube in and you didn't pull this out, guess what's gonna happen? You're just gonna get another flat. Um, and then also, if, it, if it's like a snake bite, then you know you had low inflation and then your tire got popped. If it's on the inside and then it's something in the rim that created that, that, that the, the hole in your tire. Like this tube still, I think if I wanted to, I could just patch it up. It would be the least expensive way. Inner tubes now are starting to get more expensive. Patches are going to be less expensive. It's just a temporary fix. But temporary fixes can roll into a year or two years very easily as well. Pumps, inner tubes. If you have any more questions, please stop by the store. 651-222-8380 is our telephone number. Call us. We're here to help you. Thank you and have a great day.